Hey, 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 welcome back to another Tech Support Spy video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching another video. Uh, we are growing. We are getting a lot more subscribers, a lot more viewers. Thank you to those new viewers. Thank you to do those new viewers and subscribers who have given great compliments on our content. Thank you to those who've given good, encouraging words and pushing for us to continue to put computer and technology content on this channel. So thank you so much for your wonderful words. And thank you for subscribing to Tech Support Spot. All right, so for this video is going to be for those who don't know anything about graphic cards. If you don't know about what a graphic card is and what it does for your computer, this video is going to help you. Out. So this video is gonna be about the graphics processing unit for the GPU. Every computer has it, a uh, Windows PC has it, uh, a Mac has it. Um, if you have like a, a laptop, laptop has it, desktop has them. Uh, even your, your mobile devices has some type of graphic processing unit to give you graphics to be able to portray out to you what you see on your monitor or your laptop screen of what your computer is doing. So we're gonna talk about graphics. We're gonna talk about the graphics processing unit. So understand that as your computer, your laptop, your, your desktop, your mobile device, your smartphone, all those devices require a central processing unit. So it requires some type of processor, right? Some type of processor or central processing unit chip to process instructions for your laptop or your desktop or your smartphone or your mobile device for graphics to be processed, right? It needs a graphic processing unit. All devices that have motherboards and central processing units needs a graphic card to display out to you, right? Uh, what is being displayed and shown on your computer. So when you turn your computer on or your desktop or your laptop and you see the background of your, your favorite dog, Lucy, or your, your pet rabbit, Tyrone, then you know when you see that it's your graphic processing unit that's working with your computer to show you those graphics, to give you those visuals of what your background is on that computer. So uh, I hope that is understandable and I hope I'm making sense to you. Um, I don't have any other jokes. Let's dive into the video, shall we? All right, guys, let's dive into this. So we're gonna talk about two different aspects of a graphic card or a graphic processing unit. So one, you're gonna have integrated graphics, right? Integrated graphics is what's integrated onto your motherboard. So if you can see this here, this looks like a VGA, right? And a HDMI port right here. So we're gonna look at that and help you understand the difference between the integrated graphics that's on the motherboard. And then you also can buy a separate third-party graphic card uh, that can work as your dedicated graphics, right? So we're gonna talk about that. All right, so let's first talk about the integrated graphics. So this is a uh, motherboard uh, from for a desktop. It is the ASRock uh, Pro B460 Pro 4 motherboard. And with this here, right, as I showed you, depending on the computer, the desktop or the laptop, right, well, really depending on the uh, desktop, the desktop computers will mainly have either integrated graphics or dedicated graphics. So this particular computer can have dedicated or integrated graphics, which already has a uh, VGA connection and a HDMI connection. Now, if you are a PC builder, right, you can say, I don't wanna use the integrated graphics. I wanna use a more higher performing graphic card, right? Because majority of the time, the integrated graphics on a motherboard is not the highest performing graphics, right? You, If you are a PC builder, then you wanna be able to get um, uh, a dedicated graphic card like a RTX 4090 or a, this card here is a GTX uh, NVIDIA uh, 1660, right? So if I had this motherboard and I'm building a PC and I don't wanna use the integrated graphics because the integrated graphics just are not good and I wanna get a better, higher performing graphic card I'll get a dedicated graphic card like a NVIDIA 
GTX 1660 or a NVIDIA RTX 3090. They got 4070s and 4090s out now. But I will take this, and if I'm a PC builder, I'm going to put it into the PCIe slot here. This is a PCIe slot here for your graphic card. You can also use this one as well. But as you see the grooves, you can always make sure the grooves for your PCIe slot matches your graphic card. And you're just going to connect these, right? Make sure the pins go in, then there's a lock. See that? There's a lock right there that locks in the graphic card. So now, if I have a desktop, right? Look how this looks in the desktop. Now, when I'm trying to connect to my desktop in the back, I'm going to skip putting in my HDMI into the HDMI connection here, right? For my monitor, I'm going to take this out, right? and make sure that I connect it to the graphic card to get the best graphics for this PC. This is a HDMI, this is a DisplayPort connection. We'll, we'll do a, a video later on DisplayPort and HDMI connections, but understand how this, this looks inside the back of a desktop computer. So let's take a look at this. You can see here, right? If you look at this, old desktop power spec computer from, from micro center there's no there's no graphic card that's slotted down here anywhere right all you see these are your your pcie slot openers for different cards that you can put into your desktop obviously this is a wi-fi card because it has an antenna but you see anytime that your video ports or graphic ports go up and down right that means that these are integrated graphics. Anytime on a, on a desktop computer that your graphics uh, ports go left to right, that means that's that has a, a dedicated graphic card, and you could you you should use those ports for your graphics, right? So if you look at this, right, this is an older PC, but it has a VGA connection right here, so it's using integrated graphics on this PC. So let's take a look back at the dedicated graphics here. One moment. All right, so when you look at this, right, picture this is the back of a desktop computer, right? We got the video ports that's going up and down. We got the VGA and the HDMI. That means if it's going up and down, that means it's integrated graphics. When you see your video ports, display port or HDMI, and they go left to right in the back, that means there is a dedicated graphic card installed, and you want to plug in your monitor into that dedicated graphic card, right? So understand the difference. Integrated graphics, when they go up and down, because the integrated graphics is what's on the motherboard. That means your motherboard can support graphics. And then if you have video ports that's going left to right in the back of your desktop computer, you know it has a dedicated graphic card. Take a look at the laptop. All right, so this is an old uh, Dell Aspiron, like 1525. Uh, I do repair laptops. Um, I'm actually looking to train myself to repair uh, Macs, uh, as well as iPhones and Androids. So we've been working on that, training myself to repair those screens and batteries. But anyway, this is the motherboard that I took out of this laptop. So if you see here, it's all jacked up, you know. Here, I'll show it to you here. Let's see if this can go in a little more. Yeah. So. When you look at this, right, this is the motherboard on the inside of the Dell Experience. So this is the processing unit or the central processing unit. Uh, as you look at this, right, when you look at on the side, think about it, this is the side, the left side of the laptop, right? When you look at that and every port that you see coming out of a laptop or a device is attached to the motherboard, even a graphic card. When you saw that I put the graphic card or the dedicated graphic card into that motherboard, it's attached to the motherboard. But when you look at this, right, the dedicated graphic or the integrated graphics, I'm sorry, you have a VGA here and you have an HDMI connection here, right? HDMI, VGA. So the graphics are integrated to the motherboard. So either the graphics are going to be either on 
the motherboard or a graphical processing unit chip on the motherboard or it's going to be in the CPU. Most of the newer computers nowadays, depending on the processor, whether it's an Intel processor or whether it's an AMD processor, processors also have graphic processing unit chips embedded on the CPU or on the processor. So a lot of times your your motherboard and your laptop or your desktop will have a graphic processing unit chip either embedded on the motherboard and I believe this is the graphic processing unit here. And we don't care. I'm gonna take this off. Uh, there we go. There we go. Loose to come up with no problem, but now so that's most likely the graphic processing unit, and the reason why I'm saying it's probably because I Googled it, right? So that's where the graphic processing unit is on this old Dell Xperion 1525. Uh, now your processor, remember, if you have a laptop or even a desktop, a lot of times the, the graphic processing unit isn't on the motherboard. It's going to be on the chip, on the central processing unit, or on the processor chip. So understand the difference between... Integrated graphics is on your motherboard, and integrated graphic means it can be a processing graphic unit on the motherboard, or it could be a graphic processing unit that's integrated to your processor, to your CPU. So it could be an Intel chip, or an AMD chip, or it could be a chip that's actually on the motherboard. And then of course, we talked about dedicated graphics, right? The dedicated graphics, that's a separate graphic card that you may purchase, like a NVIDIA RTX 3060 or some type of AMD Radeon uh, 6600 XT, you're buying a separate graphic card that's dedicated to just giving you graphics to show you your favorite dog Lucy or your rabbit Tyrone. So uh, I hope this made sense. I hope this gave you some idea of the difference between graphic processing units and what's integrated and what's, dedica and what's dedicated graphics. And I hope this helps you out. hope this gave you some information. Comment below. Like the video. Uh, tell us below in comments what other videos you'd like us to do. And as always, thank you for supporting Tech Support Spy and watching Tech Support Spy.